Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Running TensorFlow across hundreds of machines can shorten the training process for some models from weeks to hours and lets us experiment with models of increasing size and sophistication. This distributed training support has been one of the most requested features ever since we released TensorFlow as an open source project. And now it's available in the latest release. For more information and to get started today, head on over to the blog post. You're now able to configure all cloud load balancing flavors through a unified interface. While the technologies that power the Google Cloud Platform are complex, the UI for using the resources on GCP should be simple and intuitive. This new UI aims to simplify cloud load balancing configuration. For an overview of the new UI, check out the post. Vulkan is a new 3D rendering API which we've helped to develop as a member of Kronos. It's geared at providing explicit low overhead GPU control to developers. Vulkan's reduction of CPU overhead allows some synthetic benchmarks to see as much as 10 times the draw call throughput on a single core as compared to OpenGL ES. Combine that with a threading friendly API design which allows multiple cores to be used in parallel with high efficiency. And today, we're pleased to bring you a preview of Android development tools for Vulkan. Jump to the post for a list of features, links to samples and guides, and a video with a tornado of fish. <laughs> if you've been wanting easy to follow screencasts on how to implement the mobile ads SDK on Android and iOS, you're in luck. There's a new video series called the Mobile Ads Garage. Take a peek at the first episode to learn how to import the SDK into your project. Today, the second release in our series of developer previews for Android N is ready for you to test against your apps. You've helped us find and fix a bunch of bugs in the first release, and we're still on the hunt for more. Head over to the post for some release notes and instructions on how to get the update. OK, a fun thing at the end here. Three graduate students at San Francisco State University have created a new app for Project Tango using the Unity SDK. It's called Solar Simulator, and it lets you take a virtual walk through space to understand the size and scale of our solar system. Want to try it out? Just head over to the post for a link to download the app on your Project Tango developer kit, or follow the instructions to create your own. Enjoy these updates. Maybe your friends will too. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, the links are in the description below. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.